Amen. I'm glad that the earth just didn't come into existence. I'm glad that it wasn't a big bang theory. I'm glad that it wasn't conjured up in the mind of some man. But the creation come from the very heart of God. It come from His mind. And He created something from nothing. He spoke. It wasn't there, then He spoke, and it was there. I'm glad that we serve a God that's like that. I'm glad that we serve an almighty God, an all-powerful God. One that can create amazing things out of nothing. And I'm glad that He rested on the sixth day. I'm so glad that He did, and I'm glad that He said, Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. And that's why we're here today. We're in His house. And this place, Monday through Saturday night, is a karate school. But come Sunday morning, David, it transforms. It changes. It becomes the very sanctuary of God. And we come in this place to worship Him. And we come into this place to give him honor and to visit with our daddy, as Ray calls him. And it's so good to be in his house this morning. It's so good to, to feel his love and his goodness. And I think we need to understand that when we come in, that we need to come in standing in awe of a mighty God. 2,000 years ago, the Son of God was born upon this earth. He walked this earth. He done many miracles. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. And right before they crucified him, he was coming into the city of Jerusalem. And well, they were taking palm leaves, David, and laying them down before him. And they were taking their coats off and, and laying them down before him. He's coming in an honor that he deserved. When he got into Jerusalem, David, he walked up to the temple, to his daddy's house, his father's house, the house of God, expecting to hear prayer and praise and worship. But what he heard was the bleeding of goats, the cooing of doves, the clinking of silver and gold coins. It made the very Son of God angry, David. He had a whip, turned the money changers' tables over, released the animals, and drove them out. And he said, My father's house is supposed to be a house of prayer. And you've turned it into a den of thieves. So what I'm asking you, it's when we come through these back doors, we're going into the house of God. We're going into Daddy's house, our Father's house, the house of an almighty King. Can we not spend an hour to an hour and a half standing in awe of the Creator of this earth? Can we not spend an hour to an hour and a half just lost in His presence? Can we forget about for an hour and a half well, Peyton set a new record today. That really don't matter. Can we forget that, well, well, well the Cowboys win one today. That really don't matter, does it? Can we forget, well, well the Titans win today, or, well, well, my favorite car go around the track faster than somebody else's. Can we really just for an hour and a half forget about what Aunt Sally may be fixing for dinner. Maybe she's got that chicken fried. Can we forget that for an hour and a half? Can we forget about going to Grandma's house and getting roast goose and biscuits and cornbread? Can we forget about going to the local choking pew and pigging out? We don't want the Baptist to be the star or the Methodist to be the star. Can we forget that for just an hour and a half? And can we worship this almighty God that created us? He created us in His image to worship Him, David. Can we get beyond all the junk just for an hour and a half? Can we forget about all the differences that we may have? Can we forget, well, brother, you've got short hair and my hair is long. Can we get beyond that for an hour and a half? 
Can we get beyond? Well, you're redheaded and you're blonde. And you're a brunette. Can we get beyond that for an hour and a half and just get our mind totally upon God? You know, usually this time of, we have an altar call. But this morning I want to have something a little bit different, David. I want to call it a call to worship. Brian, Doc, wherever you guys are. Terry, Deanne. We're going to do a song. And can we just, just for a few minutes, just humor me if nothing else, just for five minutes. Can we forget everything else? I don't care if you close your eyes. I don't care if you stand up. I don't care if you dance across the floor. But let's worship God. Let's just worship Him for at least four minutes, okay? Song might last four minutes. I don't know. But just take a few minutes and I want you to think what Jesus done for you. He died on the cross, rose from the grave, took my sins, nailed them to that cross. He's coming back. Can we worship this almighty God? Yeah. 
more than just somebody you read about. He wants to be more than some picture that you've got on the wall. He wants to come and, and be inside. He wants to come and be totally in love with you. That's his purpose. That's why he came. To be in relationship with his children. That's his heart's desire. Just to, to feel him breathe up on your mirror. It sets my soul on fire. And it stirs an excitement in me to know, Lord, that the Lord loves me, David. That it just loves me. And that wherever I go, that I know He's there, He goes with me. And you love Him today. David.